Hello everyone and welcome to this video on built and prototype pages that will be divided into three parts. Today we will focus on the first stage. This part consists in prototyping, that is, identifying and creating the elements that we're going to need to design the main structure or skeleton of the web page. When we move to up to go we'll see the database that we need already defined. And also we'll find a single page that was automatically created by Up2Go by default to manage data. In this case, cars. Here we already have a car loaded and it's the same one that we have in the Figma design. Which means we have the backend ready to create a page exactly the same as the one you see on the screen. Let's start by going to pages and creating a new page that we'll call car details. The pad will be details and the name will also be details.tsx. After this we drag and drop it inside the dashboard so it's placed at the same height as cars and we proceed to save and build. As you can see if we go back to this part and refresh it we'll see that car details appears which is a blank page because we haven't defined anything in up to go yet. Once we have seen this, our next step will be the following. If we enter up to go in the car details page, which is empty, we can see that all the default pages are divided into five stages. Before page render, which consists on what will be seen before the page is loaded, the page header, the body, the page footer and the after page render. Basically, the first two stages, as well as the last one, are generally used to generate logical coding and functionality that will not be seen visually on the web page. All the elements that we are going to use to write, render or show things are going to be in the body or in the page footer. So first we go back to Figma and divide this into two, the body and the page footer. Since this division is already made, I'm going to show it to you directly. We have a square that contains the whole body and a rectangle containing the footer. These stages are already divided in up to go. We already have a body and a footer built. What we can do now is create a container for each one to prevent them from being larger than necessary. We choose the LG option so that its width is a default screen size. Once this is done, we go back to the design or Figma and subdivide the red boxes into other smaller boxes to see how many sections we would have inside each red box. We have the body split it in two and the footer into three sections. Now we go back to up to go and repeat the process. Only this time using dips. We add two for the orange boxes in the body and three in the footer. We go back to the design once again. We have finished dividing the red boxes and created the orange ones. Our next step will be to divide these orange boxes into even smaller boxes or divs. We will address this in the second part of this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it and as always, thanks for watching.